Hello everyone and welcome back to NKDev YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to have an initial technical view about how to install Tekton and set up your first pipeline. But remember that this is not our first video in this channel about Tekton and if you want to learn how it works internally, there is a video at Kirill Sininki called What is Tekton? So I recommended you to watch this video first and then we come back here. But let's start with Tekton, our powerful Kubernetes native tool for building CI CD system. And first, we are going to install Tekton on our Kubernetes cluster because remember, Tekton only works in Kubernetes. What we have to do is execute this command. And to do that, we are going to do kubectl apply minus f and this HTTP command where we have the latest release of Tekton. As soon as we click enter and we wait a while, our Tekton we will install. What we're doing here is we're going to apply a set of resources that Tekton need to operate. This is going to lie in the foundation that will allow us to create and run our pipelines in the future. To ensure that everything is in order, we will check that the pods in the Tekton pipeline in space are working. And if Tekton was installed correctly, we should see several running pods. We are going to have three in total. If we execute kubectl get pods minus n tecton pipelines, we will see how our pods are there up and running. The pods that you see are the tecton internal components that are working together and enable us to define our run pipelines. But first, what is a pipeline in tecton? A pipeline in tecton is a number of tasks which define specific steps in the world. So we need to think like a task as an individual function and a pipeline as a series of those functions running in a specific order or parallel as defined. To see how it's really working, let's define our first task. This will be a simple hello world. As you can see on the screen, we have a kind time task and then in the spec, we have a step. And this step has a name. In this case, say hello with an image that is Ubuntu and we have a command and this command is an echo with an argument and the argument is hello world. As you can see, a task is composed by a number of steps and every step is executed in an image, in this case, in an Ubuntu image. And inside the steps, you execute the command that you want to execute. Once everything is defined, we need to apply our task in our cluster. To do that, we're going to do, as you can see on the screen, kubectl apply minus f, hello task, and now we are going to use a new command and this command is called tkn and is the command line tool that we are using in TechTalk. And in case that you don't have installed in your laptop or in your machine, you need to install before because it's not coming by default. We're going to use tkn to start the task or the pipelines. And in the next videos, we will see how the event listener works. But today is only with the tkn command. So if we want to start our task, we need to do tkn task start. I'm going to write minus minus so log hello, because hello, as you remember, is the name of the task that we created before. And great, as you can see, we can see in the screen, hello world, because what is happening is that we are forcing the task to be executed. Now we will build a pipeline that use this task. A pipeline is essentially a sequence of tasks that run in order or in parallel as defined. The one that you have on the screen, first is a kind pipeline with the name hello pipeline, is calling a task that is called, as you can see in the task reference, name hello. And the name here of this task in the pipeline is called grid. This pipeline is a simple one and only is going to have one task. Later on, we will see how it's working with more tasks, how it's working the order, the execution, dependence, the parallel names. But today is only to see something simple. First, we're going to apply the pipeline. And to do that, we're going to execute kubectl apply minus f hello pipeline.yaml. And when the pipeline is created in Kubernetes, we have now the task, we have now the pipeline, we're going to start the pipeline that will call the task. To do that, tkn pipeline start, the name of the pipeline, hello pipeline, and minus minus so log. And it's going to happen the same now. The pipeline is going to start the task. This was super simple. It was our hello world. Let's move forward. How we can pass, for example, parameters from the pipeline to the task. And to do that, we're going to work with something so cool as the one that you have in the screen. We have a task, but now it's not so simple as before. This task is called generate random number. And now we have a step. 
But before this step, we have something that are called params. That are the parameters that we want to use. As you can see, there is a parameter called limit with a description that is the upper limit for the random number generation. And the default is 100 and it's a type string. So as you can imagine, we are going to generate a random number. This step that is the only one that we have here in this task is called generate it. It's using an image that is an alpine and it's executing a command that is slash bin slash ssh. And now we have this argument, this echo with the dollar random, but now with the parent limit. So we are going to generate a random number with the limit is by default 100. What we're going to do now is we're going to create our task with kubectl apply minus f. But now that our task is created, we are going to create our pipeline. And as you can see on the script, we have a kind pipeline and we have a pipeline that is called generate multiple numbers. And this pipeline is going to call several tasks. In this case, it's three tasks. And the three tasks are calling the three previous tasks that we created with different params. Because at the end, if you check, it's the same. The first task is called first random number, the second, second random number, third uh, random number. And the task reference is the same one, generate random number. And the only difference that we have is the params, because the limit, that is the param that we had defined before in our task, is going to have a value of 50, value of 200, or value of 1000. The call will generate three different values. If we create the pipeline with kubectl, apply, minus f, and the name of the file, the only thing now that we have to do is to call tkn to start the pipeline. So what we're going to do now where we start the pipeline, if we execute tkn pipeline and start generate multiple numbers minus minus solo, you will see that we are going to call the previous task created three times. But in every one of the cases, we are going to pass the limit that we want to pass. So we're going to have different numbers. For today is what I wanted to show. I wanted to show to you how it's working Tecton and how simple it is and how we can play with these two components, the pipeline and the task. And as I was telling, in the next videos, we'll see how it's working the other components like the event listeners and the trigger building and the trigger pipelines. I hope that you enjoy and see you next time. Do you think your project infrastructure is well set and maintained? We know for sure there is always room for improvement. If you are uncertain where to begin, let's first do an audit of what you already have. We will review your setup from every angle, performance, cost, security, high availability, automation, and provide you with a detailed roadmap of which direction your infrastructure should go, generate concrete tasks for you to implement, or even take on your infra entirely, if you let us, of course.